Well, here's the headline. Polyev slams Trudeau for spending over $220,000 on food alone during six-day trip to Asia. Now, we'll get to the video of this in just a second, but I just want to show you a few things first. Here from the Financial Post, June 13th, 2024. Many Canadians are accessing food banks for the first time as they struggle to meet basic needs. And what do they say again? Uh, let's see, Trudeau spent over $220,000 on food alone for a six-day trip to Asia. So interesting. Well, it says here that the Canadian Poverty and Socioeconomic Analysis, which interviewed 1,515 Canadians in March, found that 61% of those who recently accessed a food bank Food Hamper or Community Meal Program were first-time users, a sharp increase from 43% in October 2023. The total number of Canadians who accessed one of these programs was also up slightly from 6% last fall to 7% this spring. The total number of Canadians at 7% accessing a food bank. Now, Canada is supposed to be a wealthy country. And yet you have 7% of Canadians needing a food bank? That doesn't sound very first world to me. Now, what's this? This is average house prices in Canada. Well, they were way down here when Trudeau took over in 2015, and now they're way up here. That's close to doubling. And when house prices go up, rents go up as well. All housing costs go up. And since housing is the largest expense for Canadians... That might help explain why so many Canadians are needing to use a food bank now. But what caused this? Well, here we have immigration. Well, let's see. Here's immigration when Trudeau took over. And here's where it is now. And these are just permanent residents. These aren't temporary foreign workers who, many of them just end up being permanent workers and foreign students. Which it turns out a lot of them end up just staying illegally anyway. How about this from March 28th, 2024, from the Toronto Star? Canada's population hits 41 million, growing by a million in just nine months. One million people in nine months. And of course, that level of mass immigration is going to tax the entire Canadian infrastructure and overburden schools, healthcare, everything. Hey, even food banks. So now let's watch this video of Polyev slamming Trudeau for spending over $220,000 on food alone during six day trip to Asia. Here, the opposition. That's a little bit rich coming from him as he raises taxes on single moms for the crime of driving to the grocery store while he treats himself to a jet-setting experience where the food on the plane out of a six-day trip was $220,000. Beef brisket, parsley potatoes with truffle oil, beef tenderloin with port wine sauce, braised lamb shanks, and even cheesecake cake with pistachio brittle. Mr. Speaker, with Canadians lined up at the food bank, what's on the menu for this Prime Minister this summer? Gee, I wonder if Trudeau has a response to that that will satisfy anybody. Spoiler alert, he doesn't. Speaker, the conservative leader continues to use cheap attacks and slogans uh, while he tries to hide from the fact that he is standing with the wealthiest Canadians and against the idea of them paying a little more so that Canadians, can, young Canadians can buy a home, so that seniors can get their teeth fixed, so that young families can find a place in childcare. These are the investments we're making that they are standing against, Mr. Speaker. We will continue to deliver for Canadians who need them while he chooses to protect the interests of his wealthy friends. Oh, well, I guess he's been really financially responsible and looking out for the little guy. And you know, Trudeau's hardly begun building his socialist utopia in Canada. And the great thing is, as Trudeau himself told us, that budgets balance themselves. And nothing bad can possibly happen from all of this. Oh, hold on a second. Turns out bad things can happen. Let's see, here's the national debt uh, when Trudeau took over. And here's the national debt now. In fact, this is just from 2023. It'll be more than this in 2024. So $1.17 from $628 billion. But so what? Trudeau's building a socialist utopia in Canada. Who cares about debt? Well, it turns out the people that we owe the debt to care about debt. Trudeau liberals to spend more on debt payments than health. 
Debt payments skyrocketing as spending remains out of control from March 12, 2024. Last week, the parliamentary budget officer released a report warning that the Trudeau government's spending plans remain out of control. The amount that taxpayers spend just to service the national debt is expected to go up by 33.4% this current year and 11.6% in the coming year. That means the amount we pay to cover the interest on the national debt will rise from $35 billion last year to $46.7 billion this year and $52.1 billion next year. It's important to put those figures in perspective because those debt payments offer no services and rob precious dollars from services. By next year, the federal government will spend more on debt payments $52.1 billion than they do on health transfers to the provinces and territories, which is $49.2 billion. These debt payments will be 9.3 times the $5.6 billion the Trudeau Liberals are spending to get their $10 a day child care off the ground. The debt payments will be double what we spend on the military. So it looks like it turns out that totally reckless, heedless fiscal mismanagement actually does have consequences. And what have Canadians actually gotten for this massive increase in debt and this massive increase in servicing the interest on the debt? Can any Canadian really say that things are better or are they worse? Like, where is this utopia that was promised? Well, of course, it doesn't exist and it can't ever exist. Because eventually, reality collides with fantasy and reality just has a better argument. So all of this said, will Trudeau feel any contrition or embarrassment over having spent $220,000 for a six-day trip while millions of people in Canada are going to the food bank? Of course not. He's going to enjoy his beef brisket, parsley potatoes with truffle oil, beef tenderloin with port wine sauce, braised lamb shanks, and even cheesecake with pistachio brittle. Because the socialist utopias... For you, not for him. Anyway, that's all I'm going to say about that. Please like, share, and subscribe. Subscribing really helps me out. Sharing really helps me too. Thank you for that. I will see you next time.